draw the graph of the potential energy and the kinetic energy of the bob it possesses as it swung from A to C back to A. Now, assuming there is energy loss. Okay? That means there is friction. There is air resistance. So, if you swing the pendulum, if there is energy loss in the first place, do you think it will go back to the, to the same height? Right? If there is energy loss, you think the thing will keep on going and going and going? No, it will slowly, the height achieved will get less and less and less and less and finally, it comes to a stop. And that's what I'm going to show you in my scary experiment. The durian that comes smashing into my face. Okay? I've just done this experiment earlier. We bought a durian that weighs about a kilogram plus. Right? And we hung it from the top of the ceiling. Right? I bring it very close to my face. In fact, touching my face, and I let it go without pushing it. I just let it go. Now, and it's going to go to the other corner of the room and come swinging back towards me. Now, let me tell you, when it come, when it come from the other end, coming back to my towards my face, is really scary. Okay, the question is, do you think it will touch my face? Right? If it comes touching my face, I can tell you my wife is going to divorce me, my children is going to abandon me. Okay? I have confidence because I believe in physics, I believe in science. But yet, when you see that durian come towards you, it's still scary. So let's see. Do you think the durian will come back and swing all the way back to my face again? Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> See? Right? It did not come back to my face. In fact, you see, there's a gap compared to when I first released it. Okay? And the second time is even further. Because of what? Because of energy losses. Do you want to see it one more time? We can. Okay? One more time. See? It come back. It's not as close. Okay? It's even further away. And play back in slow motion. Okay? There is a gap when it comes back. Okay? See it? Why? Because of energy losses. Right? Of course, since it did not come back to the same height, the potential energy would not be as high. Okay? So, the potential energy starts from here. Right? And then it goes to B, which is zero. When it comes back as C, it's no longer as high. And then it come back to zero again. When it go back to A, okay. When it go back to A, it will be lesser. Okay. 